Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is all about five ways of using the Spectrum Next software if you couldn't find a Spectrum Next. So, but before we go down that rabbit hole, just a quick update on the competition. Uh, we're currently running the 217 subs. Uh, at 500, we'll be doing the random roll to see who's won the Spectrum Plus. Um, and also the, f the four runner up uh, software bundles for the Spectrum. Um, good luck with that, guys. And as, as you all know, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel in order to put your name in the hat for that. So without further ado, let's dive straight into this new video. So, number one, the first way, probably the most obvious one, get a Spectrum next. Now, the problem with that is, is um, as of Kickstarter 2, they've completely sold out. Unless there's a Kickstarter 3, we're not going to be able to get one. Or you pay extortionate prices on eBay to get yourself a Spectrum next. So, where do we go now? Okay, so option two, probably the best option is the NGO motherboard. Basically, a clone version of the Spectrum Next in every way, 100% compatible. As you can see, it comes fully built if you want that option in a case, acrylic case with a keyboard. Uh, alternatively, like what I did, I just ordered the board and built my own case. It'll fit into a ZX Spectrum Plus, which is what the competition's for. Um, if you wanna put one in there, or you can come up with whatever case you want, 3D print one, whatever. The compatibility is 100%. You wouldn't know if it was in a Spectrum Next case, you would never know. So everything works, all hardware and everything. Option three, the Unamiga. The Unamiga was a board that was designed to replace damaged boards in the Amiga A 500s. It runs on a FPGA technology, just very similar to the Next and is 100% compatible. So with using the core, from the Mister, you can actually run the ZX Next on the FPGA from the Unamiga, which gives you a lot of compatibility, performance, and the fact that you can just with a flick of a switch go back to the Amiga core. Um, you're starting to see a lot of these around, so it's a good little option. And like I say, it's fully compatible. Option four: the Mister FPGA. Now, basically, the FPGA. Mister is designed from three boards. The nano board, which is the center board, is literally the, the heart of the FPGA technology. You have an I.O. board that sits on the top, which is this one, uh, which gives you basically connections for joy pads and controls. And also you have a USB one at the bottom for connecting all USB devices. This is a very powerful little piece of kit. It can run all sorts of cores, hundreds of cores, pretty much, um, from every console to 8-bit, 16-bit computer, and the next core is perfect. It runs absolutely bang on. Um, I've messed around with it. It's, I haven't come across anything that doesn't work yet, um, but I am still playing with it. Um, great little piece of hardware. Like I say, it runs Amiga, it runs 64, Spectrum, pretty much anything you could possibly throw at it. Um, Mega Drive, SNES, NES, pretty much anything inside is they are quite expensive um, buying all three parts plus the memory um, you're looking at round about 300 to 350 pound and it, it is just that's what you get that little thing there without a case option five emulation c-spec so we've just went from the most expensive option down to the cheapest, which pretty much costs you nothing. All you do is just go to the uh, Spectrum Next page uh, and download the C-Spec emulator, um, follow the instructions, install it on your PC, and away you go. It's perfect for writing programs. It runs a lot of software. There is a few bugs here and there and compatibility issues, but, you know, for nothing, it's, uh, it's a good start. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's the five best ways to use Spectrum Next software. As always, guys, if like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. I uh, want to say a massive thank you for all the support so far. I kind of believe we've hit 200 in the first six weeks. Um, the channel's grown stronger and stronger. I'm still in the loft at the minute, converting it into the Nerd Attic. Uh, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it was going to do. Um, but I thought I'd quickly do a, a nice little 
top five video for you today, just so I have you know I haven't forgot about you. Um, loads of content coming, um, and good luck to everybody in the competition. Um, there's going to be more competitions. I've decided that whenever I fix something in the loft, I will be raffling that off as a prize. Um, so like the Spectrum Plus, the next one I'm probably going to tackle is an Atari ST. So that'll be the next prize. So keep subscribing and like everybody will be put into the automatic lotto to, to win it from the subscription list. Okay, guys. See you soon.